Beardo Benjo. Hello there everyone, we are five minutes away from our first look at the first official trailer for the Monster Hunter movie and I am both apprehensive and a little excited. The reason I'm apprehensive is because video games and cinema don't have the best relationship. No one's really cracked it yet. I'd probably say with the exception of something like Silent Hill. The first Silent Hill film is probably, in my opinion, the best video game movie if you remove things like Detective Pikachu or Sonic, which were also very, very good. But in terms of live action video game movies that, that in theory should be simple, there aren't very many that get it right. Now, another reason I'm apprehensive is because Monster Hunter is helmed by uh, Paul W.S. Anderson, who also helmed the Resident Evil films, which are guilty pleasures of mine, but when you compare them to the video games that they are based on, they're a bit of a mess. And it, if you just look at them as films, they are a bit of a mess. They're big, brash, over-the-top action films, and you can turn your brain off and have a laugh, but they almost... I'm not even almost... They do fall into so bad they're good territory. And I know there are people out there that love them, but... And I love them, but not because they're great movies, but because they're fun movies. I have a feeling that Monster Hunter is going to fall firmly into that same camp. Um, I could be wrong. Who knows? As I say, in just a few moments, we're going to find out uh, what the film looks like in a kind of a more in-depth look. We've had a few smaller snippets. We've already seen a look at the Diablos. We had a little look in terms of screenshots at Rathalos. I think it's Rathalos rather than Rathian. Um, and we've had some details trickling out, but this is our first full trailer. I do expect it to be big, over-the-top, silly, and fun, ultimately. But I think fans of the Monster Hunter franchise might be exceptionally critical of this product, much like I was with the Resident Evil films. But who knows? Let's have a look at it and find out what it looks like. As I said, excited, but also apprehensive. Let's have a look. Okay, just seconds away now. Now, I must preface this by saying I'll probably be a far less critical than bigger Monster Hunter fans. Monster Hunter World was my real jumping off point into the franchise in terms of the one I put the most hours into. I had played Monster Hunter games previously on Wii U and 3DS, but Monster Hunter World is where I really kind of found my love for the franchise so I'm not as deep rooted in it as many I'd like to see Nergigante in this I'd like to see a, a Barioth I'd like to see a Yagras probably won't probably just be Rathalos and Diablos but we'll see here we go Do you have any idea what those markers are? They look pretty ancient. Oh dear. The tracks end here. Definitely Bravo team. They don't just disappear. Move, move, move! Watch out! Being transported to another realm. Oh, okay. That looks nice. Gas. I love Tony Jaa. So what? Are we like Guardians of the Galaxy now? On our six. Yeah, bro. Holy shit! Oh, the monster designs look pretty cool. Did you see that thing? Oh. Officially above my pay grade. I don't care what those creatures are. We destroy them and close the gateway. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> oh, dear. A lot of Diablos. Yeah, a lot of Diablos. Oh, there's Rathalos. Looked kind of cool. Had the right markings on the wings. Mm. 
Uh, the, the monster designs look really good. Okay, I'm just going to jump straight in there and say it. That didn't look exciting. I don't know if it's because there was no kind of real music or atmosphere in the trailer, but it felt kind of flat. Um, oh, I don't know why. I don't know why filmmakers... Like, Monster Hunter's got a great world in itself. You don't need to transport military modern day personnel into that world for audiences to connect with the film and go, oh, I like these characters. You could have just shown us characters that exist in the Monster Hunter world and had them going about their daily life and fighting monsters. That would have been fine. I don't understand the like fascination with doing this kind of modern <sighs> transported into a fantasy world thing. It, it might work for some people. It's never really resonated with me. I just don't think it's necessary. And then you get these kind of fish out of water scenarios. People are like, Whoa, this is crazy. I just don't think it... I think it's such an overdone film cliche. Also, I must say, the trailer, like some of the shots in the trailer, feel like Resident Evil. They feel like the Resident Evil movies. And that's that's to be expected because same director and it's Mila again. Where the hell are we? I, what I do like... I do like the, these visuals. Um, again, because Monster Hunter World was the one that I spent the most time playing, I appreciate these visuals. That looks really nice. And then that looks really nice. That looks that looks great. Like, they've got the visuals down. That looks like it was ripped straight out of Monster Hunter World. But most of this trailer seems to take place in the desert yeah. fighting Diablos. Um, so what? Are we like Guardians of the Galaxy now? I hate that line. Not a fan. <laughs> Diablos. I'm sure there'll be big, silly action set pieces that'll be really fun to watch in the cinema if cinemas ever reopen. I like the creature designs look good. I think Rathalos looks better than Diablos from this trailer. This is officially above my pay grade. I don't care what those creatures do. <sighs> we destroy them. Close the gateway. Yeah, that all felt very Resident Evil. Close them and destroy the... Destroy them and close the gateway. I, yeah, I don't know. My favourite part about the trailer is how good Rathalos looks. Not going to lie. It, it, they've got that look down... Especially in this scene here, where you see him kind of squaring up. Yeah, it, it does look fantastic. It's this bit. That bit there. It looks fantastic there. Oh, I don't know. Um, let's pause it on that bit when it gets there. I don't know. I wasn't expecting a huge amount from it. So video game movies, as I said at the start, they never tend to be amazing. That looks really cool. Like they've got his design pretty much spot on, but they had to because they would have been been absolutely ripped apart if they didn't get the monster designs right. Looks fantastic, but it's very barren. A lot of these set pieces seem to be happening in it, happening in just a barren desert. The Diablos part, this part. When you showcase that kind of lush green forest section at the start of the trailer, it'd be nice to see some more things taking place in some different landscapes. But everything we've seen so far, from promotional materials and to this trailer, seems to imply that everything takes place in a desert, which is the most uninteresting place to set big battle set pieces that I can think of. It feels very Resident Evil. It feels very Paul W. S. Anderson. And it feels very video game converted to movie. Let me know what you think down below. I'm not super hyped for it. I think it'll be a turn your brain off blockbuster, popcorn blockbuster type thing. But I think for fans of the series, it'll be very nice to see these monsters come to life on, on a big screen. But I think people that want a decent cohesive story, I, it's, it's typical fish out of water transported to another land type stuff we're working with here it seems which is a bit of a shame let me know what you think in the comments down below i'm not particularly impressed as you can probably tell but let me know what you think uh leave a like drop a comment down below and hit subscribe if you haven't already i put out gaming content almost every week sometimes every day um, and i do all kinds of things from horror to vr to movies to all sorts thanks for watching i'll see you soon for another one take care